Happy Valentine's Day, you guys. And for Valentine's Day, I thought I'd review a more romantic movie. I'm getting a little dressed up, so let's talk about this. Marry Me was directed by Kat Koiro, stars Jennifer Lopez, Owen Wilson, and Maluma, and it tells the story of Jennifer Lopez's character, who's engaged to Maluma. She sees him behind stage, you know, kind of doing something he shouldn't be doing with another lady. So she says, I'm not going to marry him. She takes a random guy out of the audience, who's Owen Wilson, and says she will marry him. So he is now thrown into this life that she has of being a megastar and just... You know, all and all that comes with it. And being, you know, the, the the partner to someone who is that big. And Maluma, meanwhile, is trying to get back in there and be like, hey, take me back. And this all ensues. And they have dance numbers for Jennifer Lopez with Snake. So, how do I feel about this movie? Well, I gotta say, this movie has a nice feel to it. This movie reminds me of those old 40s, 50s movies. Like, where you have Marilyn Monroe or... Doris Day, or someone like that in it who could sing. And in those movies, they would always find a reason for her to be like a show lady, like a lady who does Broadway plays, and she'd have like a husband that'd be played by like Gregory Peck or Cary Grant or something like that, and the husband would kind of sit down and watch while they would let Doris Day or Marilyn Monroe, you know, do like these numbers, like they'd be rehearsing or they'd show them on stage doing it, and it was an excuse to show off the actress's talent. That kind of reminds me of those old movies, you know? And I like that about this movie. That's not something that I don't like. That's something that I do like. Jennifer Lopez in this movie is great. I love the way she plays her character. She brings, I mean, a lot of energy to this role and a lot of passion. And she's good when she has to be funny. She's hilarious. When she has to be sad or serious, she's sad or serious. She does a really good job in this movie. Owen Wilson, I am not the biggest fan of Owen Wilson as an actor because when he wants to act... He can act when he doesn't want to act. It's terrible. But in this movie, I can say he genuinely does try. And he does a good job at it. And him and Jennifer Lopez have surprisingly good chemistry together. Like, they actually work. I like seeing them on screen. They're kind of cool offset, opposites kind of duo. And it was kind of cute to see them. Maluma, he's good. You're like one of those guys who are just like, you're just... Mm -hmm. You know, one of those kind of guys. He just plays it so well, and he hits just the right beats. His performance is lacking a little bit, though. He seems sometimes a little stiff with his line delivery. I will say this for the movie. For all the things that I was worried about, the one thing that I was worried about, that now that I see it, I don't know why I was worried about, was how the cinematography was going to be. Because I was really concerned how they were going to shoot this. And I was hoping they weren't going to make all the dancing look cheap music videos, and they didn't. They did a really good job at shooting that. And I think also the costume design is top-notch. The music is great. Like, come on. And you have Jennifer Lopez singing. Y'all know it's going to be good. It's Jennifer Lopez singing, okay? Like, who out there didn't think that was probably going to be pretty good? My problem with the movie is, though, probably the direction and the script. The script is a little bit of, like, a lot of old tropes and a lot of stereotypical, like, things we've seen in other movies. And like I said, I like the general premise of this movie. It kind of seems like an old movie. But there are things in this movie that just feel like it's been taken from other better films. Sometimes the mood just gets a little too serious or gets too funny at the wrong times, which is a little... It just... I wish the tone had picked a better direction, like, and it's not bad, by all means. I did enjoy this movie, and I like this movie. It just didn't pack necessarily the entertainment I was entirely looking for when I went into this movie. Because when I go into a romantic comedy with music, all I really kind of want to see is, you know, some romance, some comedy, put some drama in there, and some music. They did that, but sometimes the movie forgot what it was, I think. And it tries to be a little too good. Also, the direction in this movie, it does appear to be slightly unexperienced. By no means mean this as a slight against Kat Coiro. She seems like she could be a good director, but when you look at her filmography, 
I mean, she's primarily a television director. She's done a lot of episodes and she's done a lot of small movies. She hasn't really had that chance yet, I think, to direct a movie of this scale. And I don't think she was necessarily the best choice for direction for this film. Because I think she needs to get a little more experience before you direct something like this. And it does show. The film is shot rather well. Like, the camera is doing its work fine. But the actual direction that is being given doesn't quite resonate. And it doesn't quite seem up to par with what you would expect to come out of this movie. There's nothing bad about it. It just seems sort of TV level. Almost like something that you would see... If you sometimes like run Hallmark, like I'm not trying to say it's that bad, but like there are some scenes that felt really cheap sometimes, and I was like, that it's not that great. The dialogue also can seem a little eh, at times. Aside from that, though, I think the movie's fun. I think it's a really cute kind of movie. It's a movie that you can enjoy. There will be some times that you know you'll feel probably a little meh at the movie, but overall, you'll probably enjoy it. There's some good chemistry, a good little romantic story, great songs, great music. It's it's fun, you know? There's a little romance going on, the little guy trying to get back in, you know, because he wants to be brought back. It's all fun and good. I'm going to give Marry Me 6 out of 10. I think it's worth your watch. I'd say definitely go check it out, especially with it being Valentine's Day and all. Take your date to go see this movie. It's something y'all can watch together. So thanks as always for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.